Uh, my name is Damien Matluski. I live in the village of Loch Gael in North Antrim and it's a great place to live. We have a great community spirit. Uh, we have great sporting organisations. We have organisations with Irish dancers and it's a really good place to live. We're quite happy living here. Uh, Eamon McGarry and I'm 83 now. And God doesn't want me or I don't think a devil would be bothered with me. Can <laughs> yeah. you tell us what you enjoy about the rural area? Well, I used to enjoy herding for a dead herder. Heard a lot in Horton Krug Park and Horton many counties in South Ireland. Impressive. Aye, oh aye. And uh, I too I had another, another immediate medal all Ireland. And I'd medals for a minor too. For them. And then I was four, four senior club hurdle medals here for the parish. Three sons and a daughter. And the oldest, two oldest boy, Paul, is in Seattle. He works for Bowen, building airplanes. Aidens in Texas. He's married and living in Texas. He's a joiner. Um, Farmers whom the eldest boy Sean's whom he farms at home and has sons out plowing the day. That's a new thing for him, he's only he's still at school yet, you know. Uh, John Hughes is the name. And where do you live? I just live outside the village. And what do you enjoy about living in a rural area? Nice and quiet, no bother. And um, everything else that goes, the scenery and all that. I'm Adam for Armoy and thing about the Armoy is the road race. Uh, my name is Paul Fullerton and I'm here from all side. Uh, what do you think about uh, this area? I feel like it's quite nice, just it's nice and quiet, you know what I mean? And then obviously working on the shop like this here, you kind of get to know everyone a bit better. So there's real, you know, there's a good sense of community really, because when people are coming in, you, you know them at least then. Well, my name is Seamus McShane, born in Ballantoy and lived nowhere else. Uh, born down the harbour road here beside the Church of Ireland and when I got married oh, 44 years ago we built a house up here on the edge of the village and since that we built a new hostel that's called Sheep Island View and we have 120 bed spaces. My wife was from Dunloy, her mother and father owned a pub and that's exactly how I got to meet her. Because I said, Josie, if I had never taken a drink, you might never have met me. Hi, my name's Neve. I'm 15. I'm from Valley Castle. The thing I love about Valley Castle is how we're all a tight community. Everybody's close together. Who are you? David McAleese. And where are you from? Valley Castle. And what's positive about living in a rural area? Well, there's less people about it and everybody knows everybody. And it's a holiday resort. My name's Stuart Burrows, I'm 16, I'm from Scotland, but I live in Bally Castle. And for me, personally, the best thing about living in a rural area is that everyone knows each other, but there's still enough peace and quiet so that you don't constantly get disrupted by whatever's going on. Uh, what's your name? My name's Dominic. Uh, where do you live? I live just uh, a few miles from here in Bally Castle. Uh, what do you like about this community? Uh, well, I mean, it's an endless list, but I mean, the one thing about living in a rural community is the endless supply of fresh air. You wake up in the morning and there's always a nice a nice air about the place and you can fill your lungs with it and it's, it's always a good feeling. Hi, my name is Chloe. I'm from Valley Castle. I'm 15 and what I like about living in a rural area is how we're all um, close together and the scenery. I'm Christine Mitchell. Um, I lived in Valley Castle all my life. I've been living in this community for the last 11 years and it's lovely because everyone looks out for everyone else. It's like being part of a big family. My name's Maya McCall. I'm 16 and I'm from Cushendon. In my area, there's a uh, shops, the caves which were featured in the Game of Thrones. Uh, there's a goat that will come out uh, around the monument of the Goat the Beach. Uh, the scenery walk in Cushion Dunn, everybody is uh, very close, very friendly, uh, immediately friendly. I moved to Cushion Dunn uh, their summer of 2018. Uh, the end of it and uh, as soon as we moved in the next morning we were greeted like family. Um, and it's been like that ever since. Um, so, what is your name? Eva Logan. And what's your age? Nine. You're nine. 
Um, so where do you live? Cushendam. Cushendam. And what's nice about this area? Um, you can just cycle everywhere and you, everyone knows each other so that you can always say hi to each other and then you always will make someone new because loads of people come here to the caves and everything. What's your name? John Delargy. And um, where do you live? Cushion, well, Glendon. Cushendon, Glendon. Um, what do you like about this area? Oh, it's... Um, it's the place where I was born, it's the place where I was brought up, went to school and so it's very familiar to me and apart from that I, I like it as uh, the scenery the, um, and um, I have a small property, a farm, so I can uh, keep myself occupied. Thank you very much. My name is Xavier Logan, I am 11. Good about living in this area that everybody knows everybody else and it's really easy to make friends. It's Sandra Hara. I live in Cushendan, but I'm originally from Luton. It's a lovely place to live. It's got um, a nice community feel about it, um, and I think the it's a lot safer to bring up children here. There's not as many people, it's not as busy. Beautiful countryside. I still wouldn't rather live anywhere else. Paul Canny, Cushendall, born and bred here. And what do you like about living in a rural area? Uh, I like the people. Like the creation, God's creation, we can see out all around us, reminds us of what we're here for, that God created us to love for him. And I love the people as well, lovely people. Who are you? Hello, my name's Jerry Mackay. I've been living here for quite some time now. And uh, we have a lovely place here in Cushendall, walks, fishing, lots of things to do fine walks and that there in a day like today which is very good it's lovely so it is and uh, children can grow up and they have plenty to do and they're safe a safe environment out there and they can run around, around and be safe and all that there so they can. and uh, we have different things going the heart of the glens festival and all in august it's great for families and people coming in it's, a great two weeks it is. Danny McAteer lives up at Tully, up there, up the Valley Man Road. And what's positive about living in a rural community? Oh, it's nice and quiet and, and everybody is everybody's very friendly with all their old. And uh, I'm a bit up in years now, I'm, I'm near 90. I'm 88, so I'm doing rightly. And plenty of good fresh air and everything. That's what helps. Hi, my name is Joseph McCroskey. Uh, I'm 15. I live in uh, Glenora, four foot. Uh, great thing about living in Glenora is that basically everyone knows each other. It's a really tight knit community. So, like, if you need anything done or if you need help with anything, like, there's always someone there to help you. I'm Reid McMullen. I was born and reared in the house that is in the background. Well, we're in the uh, Waterfoot on the Antrim Coast Road at the bottom of the Queen of the Glens, Glenariff. Sure. Be best place in Ireland, maybe. Maybe maybe in further afield, maybe the best place in the world, sure. But I, I haven't. Friendly, beautiful, picturesque, historical, convenient. What more can I tell you? Shop across the street. Everything within easy reach. Beach down at the back. Beautiful beach, boardwalk. Little cafe along the coastline, any time you want to drop in, doesn't matter which direction you look at, whether you look north, south, east or west, you have a picturesque scene, great variety, um, people are great, very helpful, help each other, if, you, if you're in an emergency, you just You'll get people calling in with you and you can, if you're able, come to the door and call help. Great place, ideal. Uh, I would recommend it. All right. How's that? Well, that I do. think that's great. I think that's all that the questions answered there.